Welcome, fellow humans and reptilian infiltrators. Don't think I have noticed you in the comments. That's not how real humans think and talk. You might want to practice a little bit. So, let's do tabs again. I haven't played this game in a long time, and one of my patrons actually suggested taking a little look at it since it's now officially released. So, let's... Let's start out big. How about a mammoth? <laughs> so derpy. I mean, that's the style of the game, of course, everything is derpy. Let's do it, um, historically accurate at first. There's, of course, nothing historically accurate about this game. I always find it hilarious when some people are like, Totally accurate battle simulator? How is this accurate? <laughs> people take us seriously when, um, the totally in the title should already give you an indication that this is not supposed to be serious. Let's just see how many spear throwers it takes, because this is this is what happened in history. You know, back in the good old days when kids were not being distracted by cell phones and instead were getting trampled by mammoths trying to survive. That was what a good old time. So, um, let's see. Oh man, that's a lot of... That's a lot of spears. Ow, man. Most of them didn't actually connect, but... There's, there's some kind of force field, I guess. <laughs> Look at those dudes. This might even be enough. Oh, I was in the same spot. It's gonna be sore. Oh, oh, this might not be enough. Nope, this is not enough. <laughs> so is it more even with two extra? <laughs> really? Oh, it was killed by a spear in the ass. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's that's gonna hurt for sure. Hmm, dream catcher. So how many archers does it take to? get the same job done. Mm, this might be enough. Arrows against mammoths, yeah. That's, that's what they did. Arrows and spears and as many people as you can gather and just unleash on the thing and hope you don't get trampled to death. That's not the only thing they did, of course. I mean, we don't really know exactly what they did because there there's no direct sources. We have, we have archaeological evidence of the things they used, the tools they used, but we can't really know how, how they went about the hunting because there's just no direct physical evidence of that. We can make assumptions. Um, things like, for example, traps would make a lot of sense, you know. Dig a large pit, cover it with branches and leaves and, you know, just camouflage it and make them <laughs> wow the mammoth literally won by just by just flopping down on the side and crushing the dudes under it it looks like it's, it's having a stroke or something that's how it won so yeah you know creating a pit camouflaging it and shooting at the mammoth from a distance and leading it into the pit and then it falls in and there you go. At that point, you should be able to murder it without too much risk to the hunters. So that seems very plausible that they did that. Do we have any proof of it? Nah, not really. Seems plausible. Or maybe they would, you know, maybe one group of hunters would kind of chase it in one direction and then another group would be, you know, climb up on these rocks here, for example, and then pelter it from above with various projectiles and, and rocks and spears and, and all that or maybe they just had the balls to just run up to the damn thing and form groups and flank it from different directions and just stab it with handheld spears until it stops trampling them who knows right i mean we do have some evidence of mammoth bones with arrow and spearheads so of course we know that they did take them down with those but the details Stoners. <laughs> How many stoners 
does it take to take down a mammoth? Just, just rocks. Clunk. Oh man, that is that's some area of effect damage right there. Oh? The stoners are more effective than the archers. How about we do like a chieftain and a couple of bone mages and then maybe a few clubbers as just kind of well not really cannon fodder mammoth fodder i suppose yeah to just tank some damage mm -hmm. that's is, is that the proper syntax for magical in incantations <laughs> That's that's how you do that. I'm just gonna have like two clubbers over here close to the mammoth that will hopefully direct its attention. Then we'll have two bone mages and a chieftain over here. Um and then maybe the same again here. Just to you know, have squads. Basically, because that makes a lot more sense than trying full frontal assault. Yeah, these are going to distract it for li for a whole two seconds, <laughs> and then the rest is getting murdered. Yeah, I don't think that's this is the way to to go about it. I mean, kudos to that chieftain. He's going all out on that mammoth ass. Ew. He made it. Uh, by the power of his majestic beard. A mammoth versus two minotaurs. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Look at how derptastic those minotaurs are. I mean, everything has derpy Google, googly eyes here, but the, the minotaurs are just... are just kind of the climax of derp. And the mammoth still wins. You guys suck. I think I think you would be more effective as burgers than as fighters. How many Vikings does it take to hunt down a mammoth? Brawlers as kind of the main force. Uh, we gotta have some crazy berserkers for the damage, and then hmm, some archers in the back. Hopefully they won't shoot everybody else. I d oh, okay. That seems alright. There might still be friendly fire, but for right now it seems pretty good. Oh no. No. Strapped Viking shields. Boo. I know. I know. This is totally accurate battle simulator. They all have googly eyes. Bizarre physics, and it's it's a pure parody game and everything. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, but I will still get... Huh? Was this one leg taken out? Hm. I will still get offended by strapped Viking shields. That's, that's just wrong in so many ways. Center grip. Center grip. Not strapped. So it's just done and just takes a nap and wins that way. Just a couple of headbutters just to take the brunt of the first charge, maybe. <laughs> yes, hang on to its ass with your axe. No, oh, he lost. <laughs> that thing is not taking prisoners. You guys suck. Come on, the Stone Age dudes with rocks are better than you. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, I know that this game is bizarre, but sometimes it still gets me. Like, what? What is even... What? <laughs> I mean, I will give them that. They probably got the idea from the fact that the Vikings would sometimes drag ships over land to move from one place to the other. That's, that's why they were so effective in the Viking Age. They, I mean, for one, other ships needed deeper waters, but 
the Viking ships could deal with shallow waters and, and could just sail up and down rivers and uh, strike very quickly. And sometimes they would even drag the the ship along land from one river to the other. So they were very mobile. Boom! What is happening? Did you just throw the... Yeah. They throw the ship. It's not very effective, unsurprisingly. And then they beat it with oars. I mean, at least it got stuck. No, never mind. Well, I'm not impressed. Valkyrie. Majestic Valhalla flap flap. Is, is this what we're dealing with here? Yay. The Valhalla flap flaps. <laughs> they are are they losing wings? Yeah, they are. This is just sad. Okay, so the Viking faction is just garbage against the mammoth, apparently. Okay, how many yards does it take? I highly doubt three of them will be able to take down a mammoth, but we'll see, I suppose. Boom! Yeah, um... Well, he's trying. He's... Oh? Okay. Okay, never mind. Let's just go crazy. Is the earth shaking? That, that one mammoth is getting a little too excited. We will go full ham. Epic destruction! This is gonna be... Ridiculous. Oh! Well then. <laughs> that works. I anticipate some... Uh, no, not even. I was gonna say, I anticipate some friendly fire, but no. That's running surprisingly smoothly. <laughs> I would have expected the frame rate to go to hell and back, but I think they optimized things pretty well. Huh. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> Ice archers. Mm-hmm. But they might not be able to get the job done. Huh. That's, that's not really looking too good for the catapults. Well, then again, they did kill almost all the mammoths. There we go. Okay, I wasn't sure for a moment. Anyway, so, yeah, they did a lot with this. It's definitely... What? That's not how you use a catapult. <laughs> when in doubt, catapult yourself. When in doubt, launch yourself. Well, you're definitely putting your back into it, I guess. So yeah, that's the current state of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. It was entertaining before, but they've definitely polished it a lot more and expanded it, and... Yeah, pretty neat. So, if you like, let me know. If you want to see more gameplay videos of tabs or other stuff as well, perhaps. And we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching, and have a good one, folks. And remember, when in doubt, just hurl some rocks. It has worked for tens of thousands of years.